The following is a presentation of RMG Sports, award-winning championship television. Rich in history and natural beauty, Knoxville, Tennessee is a gorgeous city filled with culture, the arts, and fun in every direction. Today, the fun shifts to the Tennessee River as Powerboat Super League returns to Volunteer Landing. Get ready, race fans. RMG's Hydro Zone from Knoxville starts now. Race fans, it's time to tear up the waters of the Tennessee River here in Knoxville at the 2014 Knoxville Powerboat Classic. Hello again, Jared Romesburg back with you again this year and so excited to be back in volunteer country where it is time for the Visit Knoxville pre-race show. Memories are made at the crossroads. Start making yours at visitknoxville.com. Time trials in two groups of two heat races would set Powerboat Super League starting grid. And 30, Rob Brinker sat on the pole for heat race one. But 27, Mark Profit from nearby Jacksboro, Tennessee was lurking in second. Rob's brother Ashton Rinker in the AMS Oil 20 had a bad start and had to work his way up towards the front. Here he gets by John Ludwig and moves into fourth. None of this mattered to Rob Brinker as he kept Mark Profit at bay and brought home the win in the first heat. In Group A's second heat, the inverted starting order had John Ludwig on the pole, but Ashton Brinker in the Ames Oil 20 blasted off of the dock and took off with the lead out of turn four. But looming large in Rinker's mirrors was 27 Mark Profit. He wanted to put on a show for his hometown. And he would do just that. At the race's halfway point, he slid to the outside of Ashton Rinker and powered by to the point on the front stretch to the cheers of the fans at Volunteer Landing. Rinker held the inside line, but Profit had the power and pulled away. Zimmerman, Minnesota's Merv Bjork was back in third and was trying desperately to catch up to Ashton Rinker. But the Amsoil 20 hit the gas and wouldn't let the 32 anywhere near him. The 27 was a blue dot on the horizon at this point, and Mark Profit thrilled his hometown fans by winning Group A's second heat. Qualifying was only halfway over. It was time for Group B's heat races, and 80 Brent Dillard from Dalzell, South Carolina, sat on the pole and exploded off of the dock. Dillard won Powerboat Super League's Formula 2 feature here last year, so he knew exactly how to get to the front of the pack and how to stay there. Okeechobee, Florida's Jeff Reno in the 34 was doing his best to catch up to Dillard, but he had to keep one eye in the mirror as 75, the Hurricane Michael Floyd was trying to catch up to Reno and take the second place slot. The vibrant thing made it look easy as Brent Dillard took off with the lead early and took off with the checkered in heat race one. The inverted starting order had 81 Tom Ludwig on the pole for the second heat race. But it didn't take Brent Dillard long as he rocketed past 81 and 75 Michael Floyd to retake the lead out of turn four right off the start. The Hurricane had the inside line and tried to give Dillard a little bit of a fight, but Dillard just exploded and resumed the lead on lap one. St. Petersburg, Florida's Tom Ludwig could do his best to try to catch up to Michael Floyd, but he would spend this race in third as Brent Dillard once again dominated the race, leading every lap and taking home the checkered in the second heat race. So with qualifying complete, let's meet our top three qualifiers for the 2014 Knoxville Powerboat Classic. Starting third is Rinkin, Georgia's Michael Floyd. The Hurricane knows he has his work cut out for him with the fleet of boats here in Knoxville. I'm tickled to death. I mean, these are some fast boats. I'm glad we're up here in third. We're gonna try to hang on to it today. It's a really great place to race, really great water. I'm looking forward to the final event. Starting second is last year's winner here in Knoxville, Brent Dillard. He knows he's gonna have to work hard to beat the hometown favorite. Yeah, hopefully I can dis disappoint all these volunteers. And um, he's gonna be tough to beat though, that OptiMax. It's, it doesn't come off the dock as well as the 120, but 
he's smoking down the straightaway, so I don't know if I'll be able to hold him off, but I'm going to try my hardest. And starting on the pole is Tennessee's own Mark Profit. The hometown favorite is anxious to bring home a win. Oh, it's awesome to be starting on the pole, you know, in my hometown with all my family and friends and the crew that's all worked really hard to put us where we're at. They, uh, we're excited for the final. Now here's the rest of the starting grid for the 2014 Knoxville Powerboat Classic. Starting fourth in the AMS Oil 20 is Riverview, Florida's Ashton Rinker. In fifth, it's his younger brother, Rob Rinker, in the AMS Oil 30. In sixth, we find the pride of Okeechobee, Florida, Jeff Reno. In seventh, it's the Total Medical Supply 32, driven by Zimmerman, Minnesota's Merv York. Tom Ludwig from St. Petersburg, Florida, will start in the eighth slot. In ninth, we find Tom's brother, John Ludwig, from Millersport, Ohio. And Lee Daniel from North Augusta, South Carolina, will be in the tenth and final slot. Fans, we have so much more for you, so don't move. RMG's Hydro Zone's coverage of the 2014 Knoxville Powerboat Classic continues right after this. This segment of the 2014 Knoxville Powerboat Classic is brought to you by Visit Knoxville. Memories are made at the crossroads. Start making yours at visitknoxville.com. Race fans, welcome back to Volunteer Landing here in Knoxville, where Powerboat Super League's Formula 2 Series is at the dock, ready to go. And let's take a look at how they're going to line up for the 2014 Knoxville Powerboat Classic. The local favorite, Mark Profit, from just down the road in Jacksboro, Tennessee, sits on the pole. But man, the fleet is anxious to try to get around him as we now go dockside. This is the calm before the storm. The canopies are closed, the belts are tightened, the fuel pumps are on. All eyes are now on the flagman as we wait for the drop of the flag. And we're racing in Knoxville. Go, 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 go. Stay that way, stay that way, stay that way. Stay inside, stay inside. Zero to 104 seconds as they explode on the course. Side by side, battle for the lead. And then turn three. Oh, we have contact. Contact, trouble in turn three. Trouble in turn three. Our pole sitter, Mark Profit, upside down in the Tennessee. He gets the canopy open and his belt's unbuckled and he's out of the boat, working his way to the surface. And this race is under caution before it even gets started. As we hop on board Brent Dillard's boat, you can see right there, gang, Mark Profit is at the surface. He's out of the boat. Powerboat Super League safety crew there in seconds, as always, as Mark Profit now climbs onto the bottom of his boat as it sits upside down. And let's take a look at what happened, gang. Let's ride on board with Michael Floyd, who qualified third. Wreck right front of you, wreck right front of you. Dillard and Profit, Dillard and Profit. Now let's ride on board with Brent Dillard. Oh, smacked and turned around by Profit. And there's Profit's boat upside down. Here's a unique angle, gang. Inside the cockpit with Brent Dillard. Oh, man, serious impact there as Dillard gets spun around. Hold on, Knoxville. Let's ride on board with Mark Profit. Over Profit goes into the Tennessee River. The canopy came open, and Mark Profit got out of the boat. Let's watch it again, gang. As this race, under caution on lap zero, Mark Profit going airborne outside of turn three, spinning Brent Dillard around as well. The 27 of Mark Profit upside down in the Tennessee. Brent Dillard's boat had minor damage, but you can see Mark Profit not happy as he and his boat are taken off the course. We get everyone lined back up at volunteer landing. Everybody shifts up one notch with Mark Profit out of the race. Brent Dillard with minor damage now moves into the catbird seat on the pole. The fuel pumps are back on. The canopies are closed. All eyes are on the flagman as we wait for the drop of the flag. Come on, come on. Looking good, looking good, looking good. The fleet screams onto the course. Let's see how they do in turn three this time. Everybody gets through, and Rob Rinker slingshots the Amsoil Oil 30 around, and now he's gonna battle with his brother, Ashton Rinker, for the second place slot, as last year's winner, Brent Dillard, picks up right where he left off at the end of the 2013 race. Side-by-side -side battle for second behind Dillard as the brothers Rinker battle it out 
Ashton Rinker on the outside, Rob Rinker we ride along with on the inside in the black Amsoil 30 with Rob Rinker in the cockpit. Now moves to the second place slot. Ashton Rinker in the yellow Amsoil 20, not giving up without a fight. Side by side battle into three. And once again, Rob Rinker rips the Amsoil 30 around. And now he has a radar lock on our leader, Brent Dillard, as they fly down the front stretch to complete lap one of this 30 lap feature. Rinker now flying up on the outside of Dillard as they fly into turn one. Side by side battle for the lead. Fans on the shoreline are volunteer landing. Loving this race. Here comes Rob Rinker powering by Brent Dillard on the outside. Side by side battle for the lead on lap two of this race. And there goes Rob Rinker into the lead in Knoxville. The Optimax powered Amsoil 30 proving to be too much for Brent Dillard as now he has to deal with Merv York. Merv York now slides into the rooster tail of Brent Dillard and now tries to make some ground on the inside as Rob Rinker takes off with the lead. Fantastic racing action here in Knoxville and we're only 10% into this race as Brent Dillard tries to catch up to Rob Rinker but you can see he's disappearing on the horizon already. Brent Dillard won here in Knoxville last year. He's looking to make it two in a row as now Merv Bjork had to contend a little bit with Ashton Rinker, but Merv Bjork from Zimmerman, Minnesota started back in seventh place, three laps into this race. He's now in the third place slot and creeping up on Brent Dillard who rides in second. As we ride on board with Merv Bjork, you can see he's in one of the outside lanes as Brent Dillard chooses to ride the inside lane. Bjork uses the outside lanes keeps his momentum through the turns and stays on the throttle. And now he's starting to reel our second place driver in. Brent Dillard in the orange 80, won here last year, now riding in second, and now running the risk of sliding back one more notch as Merv York, turn after turn, continues to reel that Dillard Financial Solutions boat in of Brent Dillard as they cross the line here at Volunteer Landing and start lap five of this 30 lap race. Brent Diller doing a fantastic job in qualifying, earning the second place slot, and then the pole by virtue of pole center. Mark Crawford going upside down in turn three. But now Merv Bjork again trying to reel Brent Dillard in as they move down the straightaways. And once again, Brent Diller moves that boat along on the inside lanes. Here comes Merv Bjork on the outside, way outside. They're going to split the bridge as they come down the front stretch. 105 miles an hour as they fly across the surface of the Tennessee River and into turn one. Dillard hugs the buoys, holds the inside line, and now Merv Bjork tries to go on the inside line as well, gets caught in the wake of Brent Dillard, and now he's gonna work it again. Side-by-side -side battle for second on the backstretch. Merv Bjork on the outside, Brent Dillard on the inside into turn three. Oh, inches apart as they go through three and four, and Merv Bjork holds that outside line. Here he comes on the inside, looking to slam the door on Brent Dillard, and he does just that. And last year's winner, now in third, as Merv Bjork moves into second, and now sets his sights on that Black Ames Oil 30. He has trouble. Does Merv Bjork in turn two, gets back on his horse. Brent Dillard not able to take advantage of that. As we catch up with our leader, Rob Rinker, he's already on the front stretch. We'll ride out with him to a break. More powerboat racing from Knoxville right after this. This segment of the 2014 Knoxville Powerboat Classic is brought to you by Boomsday 2014, the nation's largest Labor Day fireworks show. Get the details at boomsday.org. Race fans, welcome back to Knoxville, Tennessee in the 2014 Knoxville Powerboat Classic as we ride on board with our leader, Rob Brinker, coming out of turn four now. Brinker took the lead on lap two and hasn't looked back, putting boats multiple laps down. That's Lee Daniel to his left in the two. Lee Daniel from North Augusta, South Carolina, now about to be put another lap down as Team Amsoil continues to dominate. Second place, Merv York, just now in the middle of the front stretch. However, York hit a buoy on lap nine, and he's being listed in second place right now, gang, but I'm afraid he's gonna be penalized, and I believe he's going to be dropped back to third. We're gonna keep him in second now, as again, there's our leader, Rob Brinker, in the Amsoil 30, flying down the front stretch, coming up on some lap traffic of the 75 of the Hurricane, Michael Floyd from Rinkin, Georgia, and the 34 of Jeff Reno from Okeechobee, Florida. They're gonna hold on to the inside lines. Rob Brinker, playing it safe, he's gonna stay to the outside. Brinker has amassed a huge lead. All he has to do is stay out of trouble and get the Amsoil 30 around this course as we're treated to a fantastic view 
from outside and inside of the 34 boat, courtesy of Jeff Reno, as they now come out of turn four and down the front stretch. Rob Brinker now coming up alongside of Michael Floyd as they cross the line to see the white flag one more time around this course here on the Tennessee River in Knoxville. A little bit of redemption here on the Tennessee for Rob Brinker. He wrecked in qualifying for the 2013 race, didn't get to race, and here he is in 2014, and he's in the lead looking to take the checkered. His brother Ashton is stalled in turn four. He's got to get around him. Whoa, dangerous situation there as Ashton Rinker was stalled in turn four. The checkered flag is in the air. One more time down the front stretch, and fans, your winner in Knoxville from Riverview, Florida, it's Rob Rinker. Merv York is currently listed in second, Brent Dillard in third. Fans, don't go anywhere. The Visit Knoxville post-race show is coming up right after this. This presentation of the 2014 Knoxville Power Boat Classic was brought to you by WNML, the sports animal, the flagship station for University of Tennessee sports. All occasions party rentals, your premier event source. McGee Tyson Airport, now boarding at flyknoxville.com. The Knoxville Convention Center, Southern hospitality, downtown sophistication, outdoor adventure. And by Outdoor Knoxville. Check out Knoxville's outdoor activities, venues, and events at OutdoorKnoxville.com. Race fans, welcome back to Volunteer Landing here in Knoxville, where your winner of the Formula 2 feature, Rob Rinker, salutes the fans as it is time for the Visit Knoxville post-race show. Memories are made at the crossroads. Start making yours at VisitKnoxville.com. Here's our third place finisher. You get a little tight and you, you take out a buoy like I did and then you're, you're down a lap and it's a struggle all the way getting around and uh, we never did get on the lead lap with the, the lead boat, but um, stay to the outside. That's what um, guys are telling me. We kept it pedal to the metal and that was uh, Gary Pugh says, you got so many laps left, just keep on it and you never know what'll happen and, and that good things happen today. The general, Lee Daniel, and the Hurricane, Michael Floyd, round out the top five finishers here in Knoxville. Now let's catch up with our runner-up, Brent Dillard. Oh yeah, that first lap was pretty rough. Me and Mark Prophet got into it a little bit, and um, luckily my boat was able to go. And so I made it back to the dock and was able to restart. It's really tough with the Optimaxes. I mean, my 120, I try to keep up with them, but it's pretty tough. And I want to um, thank my sponsor, Dillard Financial Solutions, because without them, I wouldn't have been here this weekend. Ashton Rinker had fuel system issues causing him to stall on the race course and moving him back to seventh place. Knoxville, here's your 2014 winner. Yeah, it stumbled a little bit. Um, you know, we got it picked back up. It was working through the rooster tails of everybody, but um, you know, the Amsoil did what it, Amsoil boat did what it was supposed to do and uh, got me through that. And we were able to get underneath a couple guys and get out front quick. Big thanks to Amsoil and my whole crew. Uh, Rob DeNicola Antonio, my crew chief this weekend. Uh, he's uh, on top of the whole thing and got us to the top. So uh, thanks to everybody. Race fans, we had a fantastic time here in Knoxville. As always, plenty of action on top of the Tennessee River, and we were proud to be here to bring it to you. Congratulations to Rob Brinker, your winner here in Knoxville. For the entire RMG Sports crew, I'm Jared Romesburg. Until next time, Knoxville, we'll see you on the water.